back to my channel. It's your girl, Sharon, AKA the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And we are about to do another Get Fit With Me series yoga edition. And this is going to be um, our tried and true um, black yogi with Nico Marie. She has a self care, self love yoga video, roughly 25 minutes. We're going to get into. And also, the candle that I am featuring today is on island time because vibes, okay? Vibes. Anyway, without further ado, I'm not going to waste your time. Also, before I go into the video, definitely feel free and check out my life update video slash was originally going to be the intro of this video slash rant. That isn't really a rant, just more or less letting you know, hey, this is what's going on with me. Feel free to check out that video prior to this video or after. They're related. They family. They sis. They bros. They're all that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So in today's practice, we are starting in a comfortable seated position, um, kind of in a meditation pose um, where we have one hand on our chest, the other hand on our um, belly, um, working on our breathing. From there, we are going to then start um, moving our hands while on this, our arms in a seated position in a breathing sequence where we put our hands out, put them up, pull them back, and kind of like a sequence like that you'll see in the video we're going to be doing that for a little bit getting ourselves warmed up Once we complete the sequence, um, we are going to end up with our hands above our head. And then from there, we're going to transition to a gentle twist on each side. After we do the gentle twist on each side, we're going to again have our hands up above our head and then we're going to do a side stretch on each side and we're going to be alternating that side stretch, just really getting our bodies warmed up and just all part of self-love.
so we alternate the side stretch on each side we're going to again have our hands above our head and then we are going to give ourselves a nice beautiful hug a true sign of self-love um, while we're doing giving ourselves that hug we definitely are stretching in that process of doing that that hug we then are going to make our way to doing a stretch um, by um, stretching our neck on each side so a gentle just um, tug where we're stretching our neck of course not straining it and we're doing that on both sides of the horse After we stretch out our um, our um, necks, we then are finally going to transition over to a tabletop position where we're going to do a nice cat and cow. I'm doing the cat and cow um, for a couple of breaths. We then are going to make our way to our first downward facing dog of the practice. I'm um, just pedaling our dog, getting ready um, to just kind of, you know, get things going. Making our way up from the downward facing dog, we we're making our way to our pigeon pose. And we're going to be doing that pigeon pose on both sides, of course. And we're going to be holding that pigeon pose for a couple of breaths. Um, as you probably have known from a previous video, 
Uh, a pigeon pose is a very emotional pose because you're stretching those hips as a major hip opener. And that is something that's very important in self-love, of course. Pigeon pose, we are then going to make our way to um, a one-legged seated corbin. And then from there, we're gonna do kind of like a side lunge stretch. Now, I do not have the flexibility to do exactly what she was doing in the video. Um, and um, yeah, so I didn't do that, but um, I will also share at the end of the video exactly what she was trying to do there. But um, if you're wanting to know what she was trying to do, I definitely would check out her video. And also, you should just check out her video in general. But yeah, um, I wasn't able to do exactly what she was trying to do from that um, one-legged seated forward bend position. And this is all part of the same sequence. So we're going to be doing the same thing on the opposite side as well. You can kind of see I tried to attempt to do what she was doing, but then I real quickly was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do this. But after that pose, we are then going to make our way to a fourth lunge. Um, the transition, of course, because I didn't do exactly what she did there, was kind of awkward, but I made it work. And then from there, we are then going to make our way back to downward facing dog. forgot we of course did include a child's pose because hello that is one of the most self-caring things you could possibly do i did forget to mention that is in between um both of these sequences I guess it 
After we have completed that sequence both sides, we are going to make our way to lying on our back and then kind of put, fall ourselves into a ball and just giving ourselves a nice um, hug with our knees and our chest. And then from there, we are then going to either um, close the practice in either Shavasana or um, AK Corpse Pose, or you could either do a meditation pose to close the practice. I did opt for Corpse Pose, AK Shavasana this time. Getting again, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Um, before we do an in Shavasana, we are, of course, going to be doing that. I tell you, that felt so good. Um, yeah, so yeah. Hi, so that concludes the video. Um, how I rate that? I would rate that a solid 8.5. Um, it definitely felt good to do that. It felt good to get back into the routine. For those who are new to the channel, um, the month of July, I did take some time off from doing as much yoga. So, um, and if you watch my previous video that I mentioned at the beginning, you'll then also, 
we're going to change that back to where we're going back to our normally scheduled program because I can tell with me not doing as much, it kind of messed with my mood a little bit. But anyway, um, but this did help turn things around. I will say that. Um, one thing I did like about, there was actually a part of the video where I was trying to do what she was trying to do in the video and I simply could not do it. Um, and I hate saying can't doing something or not being able to do something, but I really honestly could not. Um, because there's a part where after you came from doing your one-legged um, forward bend, she wanted you to then have your hips lifted and then have your one foot up and the other one like this. And she said you couldn't convert it, you could convert it to high lunge, but even when I tried to do that, it felt awkward. So because it felt awkward, I just didn't do that part. And it's a it's part that happens on both sides. So that's actually why I rated it only 8.5 and not higher, because I'm not used to doing her practice and not being able to do something. And even if I was a little bit, you know, doing yoga like I was last month in June, I still probably wouldn't be able to do it just because um, that requires the pose that she was doing requires a ton of flexibility in your hips. And I just simply have never had that and probably never will. And I'm okay with that because <laughs> um, between the running and day to day job and just me not naturally being a flexible person ever and yeah so um that that's the only thing i didn't like about it besides that it was smooth it felt good it felt natural the 25 minutes flew by it didn't feel like it was 25 minutes it never does with her um all her videos go through really quickly and she's so good at explaining things i don't have to watch what she's doing she's just it's just chef's kiss but um yeah, that's my review of her. And of course, I'll put her link in the description like I always do. Um, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you get anything out of the content, it's your girl Sharon, aka the Mel Melanin Nostalgia Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.